James, do you know where the tech news is right now? It's flying over our heads in a million pieces. Whoa, is this a 5G thing? Then it comes in through my head and goes, ah! You and droplets! <laughs> With all the talk of the pandemic, another thing we really don't need is an outbreak of shattering glass. But this is exactly what's happening to some smartphone owners. According to reports, the camera glass on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has been breaking for no identifiable reason, just what we needed. And keep in mind, this is a $1,400 flagship device that features a huge cluster of lenses on the back. Reports of this are pouring into both Reddit and Samsung's own forums, and most unfortunately, damaged glass means that the camera lenses themselves aren't really usable. To make things worse, Samsung's warranty doesn't cover damage of this kind. The company is offering to fix the issue for $400, so they're not exactly earning a lot of goodwill with customers either. Turns out breaking trust is even easier than breaking glass. My tiny trust. <laughs> forever broken. If you've been looking for a good alternative to Zoom, which has been making headlines for questionable security lately, Google is making Meet, its Zoom competitor, free for everyone. Free Pre Meet. For <laughs> Just passing it out. <laughs> Previously, you had to be using G Suite, which is a paid service, but now anyone with a Gmail account can use Meet at no charge. You can have up to 100 participants if you're using Meet for something like a virtual family reunion, let's say. <laughs> Not recommended. <laughs> and although free accounts can't meet for more than an hour at a time, this rule will be relaxed through at least the end of September due to the pandemic. However, do keep in mind, you may not be able to access it immediately as the free tier is getting a staggered rollout. Until then, hey, use literally anything else. It's a great time for chat app competition. Google Stadia is adding a new game publisher to the mix. Electronic Arts will be part of Stadia's roster now as players will get to enjoy FIFA, Madden NFL, and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This isn't the first non-origin service to feature EA games as Microsoft's Project xCloud also has some EA titles in their lineup. Although it's been reported that EA wants to eventually roll out its own game streaming service, it appears they also do not want to get left behind while that's in development. <laughs> All the cool kids games are on Stadia. Nope. It's not clear when exactly gamers will get to play these EA titles, but it should be by the end of the year. Plenty of time for EA to work in more overpriced DLC. EA Sports, it's in the lame. Wow. <laughs> hey, other Riley, got something to say? Now it's time for the Quick Bits, brought to you by Blinkist, the app that takes the best insights and info from thousands of nonfiction books and condenses them into 15 minutes. It's basically like speed reading, without the annoying, you know, learning to speed read part. You can listen to audio summaries or read them yourself in a wide variety of categories such as business and finance, parenting, psychology, and self-help. And they even have full audiobooks now too. <laughs> Bonus! Some of their most popular titles include The AI Economy, which explains how the rise of artificial intelligence will affect society, and Streaming, Sharing, Stealing, a look at how Apple, Netflix, and Amazon use data to understand their consumers. The first 100 people to go to Blinkist.com slash TechLinked are going to get unlimited access for one week to try it out. So do that by clicking the link below. Thanks, me. On to the quick bits. Qualcomm has a faster way to charge your phone as the company has announced Quick Charge 3 Plus for platforms based on the Snapdragon 765 series of chips. The new tech should allow phones to go from zero to 50% charge in just 15 minutes, a 35% speed improvement. It ain't zero to a hundred real quick, but it's getting there. That's pretty dang fat. It's pretty fat. If you're rocking an old school mechanical hard drive in your computer, Windows 10's May update could significantly improve performance, thanks to changes in Windows search and how data gets indexed. It's great news for everyone who doesn't happen to rock SSDs exclusively. Those people probably have like solid gold toilets. Oh, how was the flight on the PJ, rich boy? Driver updates should get easier now, at least for Intel-based laptops, as Team Blue has just unlocked their GPU drivers, meaning users will no longer have to wait for the official modified driver from Dell, HP, or any of those other guys. We're finally free to switch to Ryzen. It's not, it's not applicable, but. Workers for the UK's National Health Service are going to be getting access to over 85,000 downloadable games for free as a thank you, and a way for them to unwind during the pandemic. Large publishers like Sega, EA, Xbox, and Konami are all on board, but I wouldn't be surprised if games centered around zombie outbreaks don't get played all that much. The Last of Us? I thought this was The Sims. 
And the company that brought you Roomba was going to be releasing a robotic lawnmower, but unfortunately those plans have been shelved indefinitely due to the coronavirus. You don't need a lawn. <laughs> yeah, just you, you don't look at it anymore. The iRobot Terra could have been a great boon for those of us too lazy to mow our yards, but fortunately there are competitors on the market, so your dreams of doing nothing over the summer don't have to die just yet. Well, that's our show. Hey, here's an idea. Come back on Friday, sit there passively, and absorb some more tech news instead of vacuuming your house. I'm sure that'll make your parents happy. Throw out your Roomba. Who needs it? Roomba apocalypse. There's no room for that Roomba. That was a good impression, Andy. <laughs> <laughs>